Hello, hello, hello everyone. I am <laughs> Melissa and Chiwera Chiskawa Makado. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and to those that are new here, not Anganenza. This is home. Baby, home, home, Leo, home, Leo. <laughs> my name is Melissa and Makado. The Melisanti Chiwara Chiska wa Makado. Numbrua machiru machiru uva hamulima. Yes, <laughs> I am an actress, a financial planner, a baker, motivational speaker. Look at my lips. <laughs> motivational speaker. Mm, what else? I run an advertising agency. Uh, for everyone who wants to advertise their business or they want me to help them grow their um, social media i do that um for advertising it's 250 a day i am the cheapest person there social media but anyway let's get right to the point do you want to know why you are broke and you're not making money are you sure are you ready do you really want to know? All right. Let me tell you. You are broke. You don't have money. You didn't have money this December. You didn't have money this year or last year. Well, you're living from paycheck to paycheck. Sometimes there's not even a paycheck. Sometimes there's not even money. You're praying. And nothing is happening. It feels like your prayers are not answered. But they are. You don't have money because you're not willing to do the things that other people are willing to do. If you were told that you were going to be given a million rand to kidnap five kids from school, you're going to say, hey, ne no, never, never, I'd rather be broke. That's why you're broke. If you were told you're going to be given one million to sleep with five men over the weekend in Dubai, would you do it? No. You are broke because of your morals. You are broke because if you're standing in your community, in your home, and because of the things that you believe in. Maybe you're a Christian. Maybe you just think this is wrong. I cannot do this. That's why you're broke. Now stick to your morals. Stick to your morals. Stick to your morals. Stick to who you are. But remember why you're broke. I want you to remember that you are broke because you don't want to follow certain things, because you don't want to do certain things, because you don't want to be with certain people. You know why they have money. You know why they are buying this and that and you are not. You know that they are going here, they are going to do this, they are going to get money. And you say, no, I'm not going. Many of us would be rich. Because we know how others are getting this money. But we just don't want to do it. Because we think we have morals. Now your morals are making you poor. So every day when you wake up, you must realize I am broke. Because I decided to be broke. Believe in me, if you wanted money, you would, you would make it. You would find people who are making money. If it meant getting a snake, you were going to get it. If it meant getting a crocodile or whatever they are getting, you were going to get it. You were going to do no money to get it, but you were going to be rich like others. But you don't want to. Why? So stop crying and saying, I'm broke. I don't know why I'm broke. Today you know why you're broke. You know why you're broke. Do you still want money? Either do it the right way. 
which is hard work and the process is slow if you want quick money go get quick money but leave your morals out of it but remember your morals will embarrass you and it will follow you from a club it will follow you from dubai it will follow you everywhere and remove you from whatever crowd from whatever people listen there's a story of a girl who went to mauritius with three guys and they were promising her a lot of money they have an agent for this thing's name and the agent paid half the deposit and she was broke she needed the money guys came weekend starts three guys and she's like no i cannot do this what did she do avanga faster the window and she was paralyzed a south african girl she was like no i know they've already paid a deposit but i cannot do this i cannot sleep with this man for this money i can't i can't i can't sleep with a man for money she was there and already there in Mauritius because she's like, I'm broke, I need a car, I need a house, I need to live the, the, the Instagram life. I need to show people that I also have something. Because Instagram is about pictures, right? Beautiful pictures, cars, houses, this and that. And yeah, I van a fast there, girl. She didn't die, she's paralyzed. Because of the morals. <laughs> your morals followed her to mauritius let me tell you as a christian your morals will never leave you alone the fact that you accepted jesus as a christ and your lord and savior he will follow you and remove you from whatever you are putting yourself into he will even expose you he will even tell the people that are there to say let this girl go home. You will find a guy who's supposed to be sleeping with you and giving you millions. That guy will be the one who says, I don't want her. And says, get, an, get this girl an Uber to go home. I don't care where she comes from. Get an Uber. Let her go. I don't want her. I don't feel her. I don't, I, like, no, this is not for me. Take her home. And they will take you home. They will take you home. Without even touching you, without anything. If you even continue to do that, God himself will expose you. Not the devil. Not Bobani Bad. God himself will expose you for the things that you've done. You see, people can do things for years and hide it. Hide it very well. Hide it very well. Whatever when you do it. You do it once you are exposed. Because you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Stick with God. When you are with God, the nice things about it is that you have protection. You have someone who loves you unconditionally. You have someone who promises to give you all you need. But he gives in his own time. He doesn't give now. Christianity is a daily thing. Whether you wake up sad or happy or what. For as long as you've accepted him, you must just realize that we are on a daily thing. It's a daily battle with the devil also. When God wants to bless you, the devil is like, no, no, no. Every day, you know, sometimes it's a win, sometimes it's a lose. So you must just realize that you are in a fight and that if you want to continue and live the other life that is not of Christ, Christ exposes you, your morals also follows you and exposes you and you end up not even doing it. That's why you are broke. Um, let us continue in our brokenness. <laughs> I would, this is things that I would never do. I was recruited by some lady on instagram then she started by sending message because it was my birthday i think it was in 2019 or 2018 i was broke like broke then this girl sends a message it's like hi how are you uh for your birthday what do you want and i'm like anything it's a present and it's like ah i'll buy you a bag a gucci bag i'm like oh thank you it's like don't you want to know where i get this i'm like no it's a present like no let me explain anyway said she was a student and she didn't have money for, to pay but she's got a beautiful body beautiful skin what what and she was recruited she knew someone who was doing this and she was like recruited and now she's an agent for that and she said listen there's guys who just want your private part you just send a picture we pay you um a picture of your private part 
uh, or if you want you can take like a video of you doing this and then we pay you if you want another option is for if my guy is going to let's say dubai you come from south africa we get you flights you go meet up with this guy this guy is probably coming from france these are rich people man. like wealthy people he comes from france when you when you you get there for a weekend and then he sleeps with you the whole weekend if you want you can say protection with protection there's a fee without protection there's a fee now sometimes you are lucky where a guy likes you so every time he's coming from france going to australia you go to australia if he's leaving australia is going to europe you go with him to wherever he's going because now you are his person that he trusts and he sleeps with but sometimes you, it's different men who are going different places but all wealthy people and they pay this agent and this agent then pays me my my fee i was like wow this sounds like a very good idea but girl i accept someone i am under the authority of a person who will expose me. it's like no this thing has been done for years no one will ever find out i'm like hey, hey, until i come in you will find out i it will still be a secret for everyone but for me believe me himself not the devil not people him he will expose it he will he's like sissy don't you want money i'm like listen where i am right now i don't have to interrupt but let me rather be poor with my 20 rand than enter in this I, I thank you so much for considering me keep your bag keep your life keep everything i am scared of my father he is going and she was laughing like i he will expose me like we're talking on instagram and we're sending voice notes to each other and like she's like listen girl no one will ever find out this is a secret i'm like listen secret or not it will be secret to everyone but not to me because i know who i serve and i know that he's going to expose me i'll be on every newspaper everywhere people will see my bumps my private part everything like it will be exposure like let me tell you i don't i'm not willing and yeah i think she came back a few months later it's like no really i sent your pictures to this guys and they love your pictures they love your bums because i i remember i took pictures of me in a in a pool and she's like listen we love your behind we want I, I will you will make a lot of money cc i'm begging you and i was like no and i was broke that whole christmas i was broke that whole big day thing i was broke i was like let me be broke it's okay <laughs> so i listen i'm just making you aware why you are broke your money will come your everything will come but it doesn't come in our time it comes we don't know when that is but it will come it will come it will come just have faith in that it will come and keep your morals nah, like honestly it's happening out there watch and pray lest you fall into temptation Mm -hmm. and remember the fervent prayer of a righteous person availeth much you are not wasting your time when you pray hallelujah